Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toasty and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video And today we got some in-game news and we're gonna talk about them right now So, without waiting, we're gonna go over the uh, Final Fantasy XI uh, events, especially Shrine of Exploration that we're gonna get Ru Avito will be available on Friday, the 7th of September So this Friday you guys will be able to fight Kirin other than fighting him in the uh, level 40 energy, you'll be able to fight him in the exploration. So let's go over the things we have right here. Reduce its defense and spirit to deal lots of damage, Kupo. You might want to boost your resistance to fire, lightning, wind and earth, Kupo. Be prepared to deal with sleep and blind status ailments. So he's going to be able to sleep and put blind status ailments on you. So we're going to try to cover these things right here with a lot of people. Uh, after your mission rewards, we're gonna go over them. So clear, uh, clear initial, initial, initial completion reward. Sorry, uh, you'll be able to get a five percent Moogle After that, once you beat the boss, so complete the quest, you'll get Kirin's Osode, which is a uh, light armor, defense thirty nine, MP thirty, attack defense magic, spirit five percent, and boost light light resistance by fifty percent. Uh, that thing's actually not bad. Not bad, because you can probably put that on shield. Let's say you're fighting a boss that does light damage. You put that on shield, AoE magic cover, and uh, there you go. Light resistance up by 50%, and you just put, uh, what's her name? Karn Buckle on, her, on him, and you get 100% light resistance. So that thing is actually not bad. Then, deal wind damage five times or more. Faded Crystal, you get 10,000 of them. Then no item. Light resistance plus 20%, which is always good, these things. And defeat Kirin with a limit burst, you get another 5% Moogle for a grand total of 10% Moogle, which is actually really, really, really cool. Uh, so they tell you to use the help uh, the help of Joachim, Live Enchant Total, Shadow Lord, and Kupipi, uh, which we're probably not going to use. Then, moving on to the next one. So yes, as you guys, most people predicted it. Featured summon, Dragon Quest is coming back. So uh, the way it's going to work, we're going to have two banners up for two weeks. So you guys will be able to Featured summon, Dragon Quest for uh, Dragon Lord, Orochi, Golem, Killing Machine, Liquid Metal Slime, Robin Hood. So I already went over all these characters. We're not going to go over them. We're just gonna, we're just going to go over uh, Dragon Lord because he is going to get a seven star awakening. So if you guys can pull a second a, a second of him, uh, that's really good because already. This move right here, Kefrizzle, is super, 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 super strong. And uh, 7 star is just going to be even stronger. So uh, we're going to go over a super trust master real fast. Dragon Lord's Scepter, uh, attack 28, magic 159 and 40% MP. It's a rod, obviously. You guys can see that his magic stats can go really, really high. And uh, he is no joke because he can do a lot of damage. So if you, if you guys have one of him uh, and you want to go for a second one of him, go for it. Uh, he's actually going to be a really, really good unit. But other than that, uh, the rest, we're not going to talk about them because we have another banner to talk about. So this banner is going to be up on Friday. So it's going to be from Friday, uh, September 7th to Friday, September 21st. So they're going to be there for two weeks. So that's the first one. Second one, right when it goes like that. Uh, we're gonna go over this one first. Dragon Lord's Challenge, it's coming back, so it's back as you guys can see. If, I'll go over the thing right now, if you guys already cleared that, you will not be able to get the rewards a second time, alright? So if you guys already beat the Dragon Lord's Challenge, uh, you will not be able to get uh, all the rewards for a second time. So it sucks a little bit for older players, but for newer players, it's actually really cool. I just find that these two weeks that we're gonna have with uh, the Dragon Quest, especially for older players, it's gonna be a little bit boring, but you know what? We have to wait. We have to wait because after that, the boy Heal is gonna be coming to the game. I'm pretty sure of that. So, Dragon Lord, we're gonna go over the things. Make sure your party has elemental resistance against Fire Kupo. Man Eater is super effective for round one, but Dragon Killer is best for round two. So, the way it's gonna work, the fight, really simple. Uh, you're going to fight Dragon Lord in his base form, so as a human, you're going to be able to dish out a lot of damage. And the second you beat his first form, there's going to be a second fight, and you're going to be fighting him as a Dragon Witch. He's going to do a little bit more damage, but uh, the fight's really not that hard, to be honest. So, uh, completion reward, once you beat him, uh, you get a 5% Moogle. Complete the quest, another 5% Moogle. Slime and Party, you get uh, 10,000 gold coins. 
No green magic, fire resistance 20%, and uh, clear without an ally being KO, magic 30%. So these things are actually really, really good. If you guys didn't beat them the first time, here's a chance to do it a second time. Then, we're gonna go over here one more time. Uh, Monster Carnival, so that's gonna be the King Mog event. It's back. I don't know if they're gonna put it as a King Mog. Yeah, Minister Mog. So they're gonna bring it as a Minister Mog event. Uh, Friday, you guys will be able to do the event in the Vortex. Uh, the event dungeon for Dragon Quest. It's gonna go from Friday, September 9 to all the way up to Friday, September 21st. So two weeks also, we're gonna have this event. So clear each exploration for reward, you get a uh, rare summon ticket on beginner. Intermediate, you get 200 gold coins. Advanced, 300. Pro, 500. Elite, 500 lapis. Gold coins, 5,000 on legendary. Now here's the thing. If you guys did this event already, uh, I check on the reddit post you will not be able to get those rewards one more time so if anything anything that you bought at the, the King Mog event prior to that you will not be able to get it a second time so uh, the Erdrick swords you won't be able to get it a second time the iron axe you won't be able to get it the cautery sword you won't be able to get it the crow's claws all these things that you see right here that you can get in the minister mog that you bought in the King Mog you will not be able to to get them unless they change like they did before uh, for now what they're saying is you will not be able to get all these event materials a second time so here's uh, the units you guys will be able to get for bonuses uh, obviously dragon lord seven star 200 percent s stark 200 percent 27 star uh, all these units right here will give you an increased bonus for the currency that you will need for the minister mog and uh, so yeah, one more time, if I like, like I said before, if you guys already cleared all of that, you will not be able to get it for a second time. All right, so that's it for the Minister Mod, guys. It's midway through the video, probably. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe down below, leave a like on this video, and let me know what you think about these news so far. Then we're gonna go over the featured summon. Uh, the second one, which is a little bit more interesting, especially if you already have your two Dragon Lords and all these things. <clears throat> you'll be able to get S Stark, Uber Killing Machine, Slime Knight, uh, Golem and Robin Hood. They're making a comeback on this banner. So let's go over uh, those three units right now. So Mr. S Stark, E's are 5 star going into 7 star. I really love the character. The way it looks, it's pretty amazing. High on attack. Let's go over his Super Trust Master, so if you guys get 4 of him, you'll be able to get a uh, L Saber, which is a sword. Attack 176, enables Shocking Slash, shock, shocking slash sorry, Dark Damage and Reduce Dark Resistance for all enemies. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be something around like 50%, which is actually not bad. I just wish the sword had a element attached to it. But, uh, we don't have the data mine yet on the characters and once we get the, data, the full data mine on all the characters We're gonna be able to go over them a little bit more then trust master The Lord of the underworld fill LB gauge every turn and boost attack when equipped with a sword 50 to 60 percent not stackable All right, so you won't be able to stack two of those TMRs on one character then his featured ability uh, ability sorry uh, Lordly fighting spirit restore MP every turn Boost equipment, attack when armed with two wanted weapons. That's his move on seven st when he's seven star. Then he's gonna get lordly thrust, deal partial unmitigated damage to one enemy. It's probably like a finishing move. Then he has lordly stance, boost own attack and fill LB gauge. I wonder if it's gonna be like maybe 120% to his own attack, but we'll see. Uh, which is actually not bad, but I gotta say this character looks really, really cool. He just looks like a real badass. Then we're going to go over the Uber Killing Machine, which is our 4 star going into 6 star. High on attack, Sledgehammer, that's his trust master. Uh, attack 103, HP 20% and enables Man Eater. This is actually really, really nice. Uh, yeah, it's a Sledgehammer, it's a hammer. You guys, we barely see any people with hammers. But having the Man Eater could be actually really, really good. And that HP 20%, you put that on a tank. Uh, let's say Warrior of Light, which has high counters, or uh, what's his name? Earth Veritas, you put that on him. With the counter, they can dish out even more damage. Then his featured abilities, uh, Mace Elite, Elite Chopter, sorry, Elite Chopter? Elite Chopter. We're gonna go Elite Chopter. 
Damage all enemies two times with boosted damage against humans, which is really, really cool. Dual Sword Mastery can equip two of any one-handed weapon, so that's really, really good. And uh, Emergency Muster Strength boost attack when HP is below a certain point. So other than that, I gotta say, Uber Killing Machine, uh, he looks really, really cool. This actually is really, really nice. So uh, even the Killing Machine from the other uh, Dragon Quest uh, banner is actually really, really nice. Uh, the sword that he has with uh, Demon Killer uh with machine killer sorry it's actually really 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 nice so let's go over the last one because we're not going to talk of uh, robin hood and golem slime light attack we're gonna go trust master reward slime shield defense 48 spirit 48 boost water resistance by 50 percent this is actually really really cool especially if you're fighting a boss that does a lot of elemental damage with water this could look really really good and High on defense and high on spirit, so that's actually not bad at all. And look at that cute little shield, it's so pretty, so go for it. If you have plenty of him, go for it. Then featured abilities, uh, Jer Falcon Slash enables specific abilities to be, twice, to be used twice in one turn. Sorry, activate one time each regardless of equipment condition. Super Double Edge Slash, consume own HP to damage one enemy. And Wind Slash, uh, Gale Slash, sorry, wind damage to one enemy. Obviously, he's a 4-star going to 6-star. Character looks really, really cool. So, uh, and it's a nice TMR to have. Not bad at all. I'm actually really... This guy is actually really, really cool. Because he's a TMR. And as Stark, you're just a crazy badass with those two big-ass swords. Then, we're going to move on to the next thing. So, we did the featured summon of Dragon Quest. Now... With that, we're going to have S Stark Challenge, which is going to be a raid event. And yes, a second raid event, so you guys will be able to farm even more stuff with those raid coins. Here's going to be the equipment you're going to be able to get. Uh, Dragovian Spear, attack 90, enables Dragon Killer and Demon Killer. So that's actually really, really nice. I don't know if it's going to be 50%. Hopefully it is 50%, but... Even if it's a 30 or 40%, that, that thing is actually really, really good because you get an increase in damage. Then you're going to have Sacred Claw, um, attack 70. Demon Killer attached to it, so that thing is actually really good. Every time you get killer abilities on your weapons, uh, it actually makes the weapon a little bit better. Then, Sage's Staff, attack 11, magic 34, and spirit 54. Dragon Scale, defense 1, spirit 1, HP 10%, and boost fire resistance by 15% can always be useful you never know these things can always be useful so I might as well craft one or two of them other event other event limited equipment sorry sometimes I try to go way too fast the Erdrick sword uh, cuttery sword Gracos trident big boss shield staff of anti-magic iron axe and the crow's claw I wonder all right so since we can't buy those in the king mog or the minister mog I wonder if they're going to be able to make us craft these weapons. Because I would craft the second Erdrick Swords. 125 Great Sword uh, with no element is actually really, really cool. And uh, this one, the Cuttery Sword, I think it has Demon Killer attached to it with attack 86. Uh, so yeah, I would actually, if you can craft more of those, I would actually craft a lot more of those. Because they're actually really, really nice. Especially if you're a newer character or a newer player to the game. Uh, these weapons are actually really really good for you to start uh, Let's go over the things right here. So on the raid summon You will be able to farm uh, To farm actually to summon for these characters right here slime Draki and Marquis the Leon uh, So he's a five star and you're gonna be able to awaken him to a seven star You'll be able to get a stress master which is golden claw attack 120 and HP 15% Which is really really good super trust master Reward the King of Beasts, boost physical and magic damage against Beast and Avion Monster. So I wonder if it's going to be a 50%. If it is, trust me, you guys will need to farm these TMRs because they're really, really, really good. Then we're going to go over his featured abilities. Fendish, Fauna, Fist, 7-star. Uh, when he's 7-star, you can use that. Use once every 5 turns. Damage and reduce attack, defense, magic, and spirit for one enemy. I wonder how strong the break is. If it's a 45% break... Could be actually pretty, pretty nice. Then he has Blizzard, Blizzard Slash. Sorry. 7 star again. Ice damage to one enemy and add ice elemental and physical attack. 
and rough cuts when he's 7 star you can use this move damage 2 times and chance of paralyzing all enemies uh, other than that I would I would go for it just cause the golden claws is actually really really good and the king of beast is actually really really good so these two things go for it get him 7 star get that super trust master the more of him you can get the better it will be then we're gonna go over Draki, which is a 3 star going into 5 star uh, devilish designs that's his trust master boost mp by 10% and dark resistance by 15% nothing crazy here uh, drain magic Ooh, big ability uh, then slime sorry trust master reward scorch fire damage to all enemies not that good and uh, multi heal restore HP for all allies to be honest you're not gonna be using him at all so uh, Marquis the Leon really really cool so here's the thing you'll be able to get in the raid summon uh, you're gonna be able to get him lots of uh, sight some trust uh, master moogles trust master some trust moogles and also four star tickets which is always always wanted and obviously gill snapper and uh, metal cactuars so that's gonna be for the uh, s starks challenge raid event then we got the last one the vault of hidden treasures is making a comeback so on friday all the way up to thursday september 20th you'll be able to do this once a day so you go in uh, and you can get really really nice reward with king metal, metal cactuars uh giant snappers all this super stuff that you need to make your characters evolve or give you a little bit more gil and all the good stuff so it's making a comeback you'll be able to do it once a day like it's written right here then the last one obviously you guys know that mr dragon lord is going into seven stars so if you have two of him already good for you if you have zero like me maybe we should go for it uh but yeah he's getting a seven star guys so uh, that's pretty cool for you guys who will have him seven star because his kefrizzle like i said before is just gonna do even more damage so guys thank you so much for watching this video like i said previously if you are new to this channel please subscribe down below leave a like or leave a thumbs up on this video and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace